everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so in today's video I am going to be sharing with you my recommendations and tips for the 2020 semi-annual sale from Bath and Body Works so the sale will be December 26th so it's coming I have a lot okay so I'm gonna share the tips at the end of the video right now I'm going to go over everything that isn't a fragrance mist and let's get started because there's a lot of stuff so the first thing I want to talk about are these Mary Cookie mini bath fizzies if you see these at 75% off, 50% off, I would recommend them because they are so moisturizing when I put them in my tub. Now, do they give bubbles? No. Do they even give the little foamy stuff? No. But it makes that water so soft and fragrant. What, do they even smell like a Christmas cookie or Merry cookie to me? No. They smell like shea butter, but it's so moisturizing, so good. I love these and they were originally like 13 bucks and you only get four little ones and for me it takes two to at least make it worthwhile so at a discount i would grab these they i just love them okay so we're going to talk about body scrubs body scrubs are wonderful but they're pricey they're usually 16.50 at victoria y'all i'm sorry <laughs> i'm thinking about both sas sales the most recent ones that you might can find at 75% off, I'm gonna go with Vanilla Bean Noel first because this is the holiday line. And usually these items are 75% off because you know they're trying to get them out. This is, the notes are fresh vanilla beans, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, snow kissed musk. And the confetti scrubs, I like them. Oh, this smells so I believe everyone knows how vanilla bean smells. So I recommend if you see these at 75% off, grab them. They're a great daily scrub. They're not like harsh exfoliators, but for a daily exfoliator and your bathroom and your body will smell great, I recommend Vanilla Bean Noel. I also highly recommend if these pop up anywhere from the fall collection, the Strawberry Pound Cake Confetti Scrub. This is what made me want to purchase the strawberry pound cake line because i fell in love with the scrub oh my goodness it's it's good <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say this is a long video now if they have these scrubs from the summer collection i'm gonna show you pink watermelon this is a beautiful nice scrub too daily not harsh on your skin Smells like juicy watermelon, sweet watermelon. Think of the Jolly Ranchers. So good. Love this. Okay, so doo -doo -doo -doo, let's go with some bubble bath. If you've watched my empties video, I've been using this ever since I got them. This is my last one. I'm sad because I bought a ton of these at the spring sas sale yeah was it or the last winter one it was one of them and i don't know how many i bought i think 10 this is my last one so if they have bubble bath on sale at, at bath and body works for 75 percent off i would uh suggest you stock up like i plan to if they have it because this for eight ounces is 14.50 i meant well i wasn't feeling good on the body care sale day the 5.95 because I had planned to get You're the One bubble bath and stock up during that that uh, $5.95 body care sale. But like I said, I wasn't feeling good and I didn't want to pay for shipping online. <sighs> and bubble bath now at Bath and Body Works. Oh, why is that Victoria's Secret? $18.50. Is it? No. No, I'm not paying that. So if they have bubble bath at the sale, grab you some and plus it's good bubble bath but you have to use a lot can you imagine you have to use a lot and it's 1850 for eight ounces 
oh no. All right, let's keep with the bath, I guess. This is the Super Rich Moisturizing Body Wash. This is in Hello Beautiful. I picked this up at, at I can't remember what SAS sale, but it was one. These are nice. I don't find them, they are moisturizing, but I just don't see that much difference for me between this and the regular shower gel. But if they have these on sale, like I know they have some confetti moisturizing washes kind of in this packaging for the holiday. I would like to get some because why not? I want to try, I love the confetti scrubs. I would love to try the um, moisture, moisturizing body wash. So if you see any of these on sale, I would get them. They're nice. They are creamy. They're fragrant and they're good. <laughs> so this I just pulled to show sweet whiskey. I believe this is, I don't know if this is going to be 75 or 50 because you know, sometimes these stores can be tripping, but Sweet whiskey in this packaging is sweeter than to me and on my skin than in the blue packaging. And I fell in love with it in this packaging and I want to get more of it. And the notes are golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, sweet apple blossom. And I will say if you like Bonfire Bash, more than likely you're gonna like this version of sweet whiskey. Okay, I have one more shower gel to show you. This shower gel, usually I'm like, a shower gel is a shower gel. <laughs> and it's the fragrance to me that makes the difference. If I like, the, if the formula is all the same, the fragrance is what makes it different to me. This Boardwalk Taffy, if you see this in any form, I would get it, but especially this shower gel, it is so, it smells so pretty. It's, fl I just love the shower gel. It is so good. The notes are spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. The packaging is beautiful. I, this is one, I'm not one to go, oh, shower gels, oh my God, they're real. I don't go crazy over shower gels. This one, I love. I love this. Okay, and this, before I get into the fragrance mist, which I'll have a whole bag, I'm gonna pick it up and just pull from the bag. This is um, Blooming Garden in the Body Cream. This has notes of Fresh Pick Poppy, Spring Waters, Sky Blue Amber. I believe they brought this out during the Summer SAS sale this year, this past year, Summer SAS, because they didn't, they didn't have a body mist and I was like mad because this if you like fresh spring like pretty fragrances floral with just a hint of sweetness and just like some aquatic I don't know it's good it is good and I was watching a video and they have the fragrance mist to this out now and I think it's going to be on sale I will be grabbing that fragrance mist do you hear me Blooming Garden, love it. Whew, okay y'all. So this is the bag of fragrance mist that I'm going to be pulling from that I got from Macy's for free because this is not my style of bag. You know, I think I'm gonna put it down because it's, it's kind of heavy and hard for me. I wanna just break something. So from the most recent collection, this is um, Fresh Sparkling Snow. Beautiful packaging. This is Ice Pear, Frozen Melon, Winter Apple, Snowdrop Blossom, and Frosted Musk. This is a pretty, soft, musky, a hint of a, like the fruitiness. It's refreshing, it's fresh. You don't have, this to me is not just winter. You can wear this year round, but if you like fresh smelling fragrances, if you don't like the gourmands or the deeper fragrances and you want something fresh and bright, but it still fits the season, if you're a seasonal fragrance wearer like I am, this is perfect. Fresh sparkling snow, love it. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous packaging. Okay, hey, this is from the fall line, and this is Vanilla Mocha Cafe. 
And this doesn't have the notes on it and I didn't purchase the lotion because I just wanted the mist. This is a chocolate, van vanilla chocolate fragrance mist that is so nice. If you like coffee fragrances, this is perfect to layer with like Black Opium, Black Opium Nuit Blanche, um, Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This is perfect, the perfect fragrance mist to layer with fragrances like that. Um, it Or by itself, if you just want a nice coffee scent. This I really love and enjoy wearing. This is from the spring, no, the summer collection. This is Beachfront Blanket. And here's the lotion I pulled because the notes aren't on this. And look at this packaging. Adorbs, okay? This has notes of fresh white linen, summer sun rays, and soft musk. If you like fresh, very super duper fresh fragrances. This almost smells like laundry, but when you put it on your skin and maybe you're layering it with a fragrance or even if you're not, that musk comes out. It's just very fresh and clean, musky fragrance. It's very nice. I'm happy I purchased it and the packaging, it's just too cute. Oh y'all, I've been making long videos lately. Wearing me out. <laughs> okay. So this is one that I have to bring up. If you see it, grab it. Because you never know what Bath and Body Works is gonna bring back for their SAS sale. They are so much better at bringing things back that you've missed than Victoria's Secret. They are they just you never know what you're gonna see. You never do online or in the store. So this is Lovely Dreamer. This is discontinued. The notes in this are fluffy musk, clean woods, white iris, fresh bergamot. If you see this, grab it. Give it a sniff. It's very soft, fresh, feminine, woody, musky. It reminds me of Joe Malone's um, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. You smell expensive and fresh, like an expensive, fresh fragrance. Because I said, it smells like Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is good. Okay, let's see, what am I pulling from the bag now? <laughs> okay, this is from the Spring Collection. This is Whipped, va whooped, whipped Vanilla Chiffon. And I thought I brought the lotion to give you the notes, but I don't see it. So this smells like a vanilla fragrance, like your typical vanilla, fresh vanilla, but it has a peachy this. So think of a peachy vanilla fragrance. It's very nice. To me, it's year round. I've been wearing it now um, and I really like it. And it's really nice. If you see it, give it a sniff to see if you like that little peachy note in this. Okay, let's pull some of this up now. Okay, this is Peach and Honey Almond. Love this, if I ever see it again. This is one that's just from way back when, but they were bringing it back consistently for a minute, and now I hope they bring it back. I want the lotion. This is exactly what, it, this is a peachy, almond, honey, sweet fragrance. A sweet, nutty fragrance with some peachiness to it. It is so nice, I love this. This is what, if you see this, you need to get it to have ready for summer, summer time. And this is Malibu Heat. The notes in this are juicy pineapple, California orange, coconut flower, creamy, coconut milk and sunny musk. These two together. I used to not like this fragrance. I don't know what was wrong with me. Cause this smells like Miami. Welcome to Miami. It just smells like hot, sexy summer days. Coconutty, juicy, pineapple, musk is good check it out if you see it and you'll have it ready for the summer because they usually have it at the summer SAS sales 
but sometimes they will have it for winter too and if you see it and you like it you already have it for this summer and a wonderful deep discount okay this is boardwalk taffy the fine fragrance mist i think i already told you the notes so this one this is it's kind of a soft berry marshmallow. I love this fragrance. As you see, I bought the whole line because I showed you the shower gel. If you if they have it for this sale, give it a sniff and see if you like it. But it's very crowd pleasing. I can't see anyone sniffing this and going, ew, because it's just a soft, sweet berry, marshmallowy berry fragrance. Very pretty. Deep breath, whew, okay, this is Sunset Glow. I have talked about this, I don't know how many times on this channel. This is, the notes are fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. This is a fresh cherry coconut. Good, good, good fragrance, cause I, it is hard for me to find a good cherry fragrance mist. And I found two that are in stock. I found three. One for Victoria's Secret that I can't find at the price I want to pay. And then this one, Sunset Glow, and it's in here somewhere. Okay, I'll talk about that one next. This is good. I don't buy backups of fragrance mist because I'm like they're constantly coming out with new collections there's always going to be something you want to try why have backups this if it's at the SAS I will be getting another one because it has been a long time since I fell in love with a cherry fragrance love it and the other one I plan to get a backup of Y'all can say it with me, Sugar Cherry Crisp, because I talked about this to death. And the notes in this are Bright Cherry Delight, Crumbled Graham Cracker, Spun Vanilla Sugar. This smells like cherry pie. Just how the packaging depicts, you smell, I smell like the graham cracker crust, I smell the vanilla. I smell the cherry and then when you spray it on it dries down it's like to me a cherry liquor lick cherry liqueur sweet though sweetness on my skin <sighs> if they have this I would be in the back up of everything in the line <laughs> so good all right, this is Beach Night Summer Marshmallow. I think everyone knows about this fragrance, but let's talk about it for a minute because they usually tend to bring it out for the summer SAS, but sometimes they do have it at the winter SAS. So the notes in this are Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach drift Driftwood, Creamy Vanilla. There's the lotion because I use up the body cream. This smells like a toasted marshmallow, a lightly toasted marshmallow. It's just good. It's simple and to the point. If you like marshmallow fragrances, if you like soft, sweet fragrances, you will like this. Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow. Okay, this is one that I think will be part of the SAS sale for sure because it, they said it was limited edition. And this is A Thousand Christmas Wishes. The notes in this are, don't tell me it's not on here. Okay, there it is. A celebratory blend of pomegranate, prosecco, sweet elderberries, star jasmine, and sugared woods. This is just juicy, fruity deliciousness. Oh my goodness. But in not in a childish way. And I mentioned in a video of mine that it reminds me of that um, 
Victoria's Secret Sexy Little Things Vixen. I love that fragrance. If you can remember that, this is what it reminds me. This fragrance mist reminds me of that, and I love it, and I love this. So I, my gut is saying this is this was limited edition, I believe, for the holiday season. So I'm hoping it's going to be 75% off, and you can get it at a great, great deal. Running out of space. Okay, this is one I also think it's probably going to be 75% off, I'm hoping, and this is Confetti Daydream. This is Fresh Raspberry Sparkling Pear Blue Iris. I'm sorry, y'all. If y'all hear the truck out there, that's the trash. Ooh, they're getting the trash now, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. I can't smell this one right now. Did I spray anything? Ooh, sprayed it the wrong way. Yeah, this is a fresh, fruity, kind of powdery, bright fragrance. It's nice. At first, I wasn't going to get it. I was going to wait for the sale because it's nothing outstanding, but it is very, very nice. I'm recommending it because I think it's going to be 75% off. It's a very pleasant, likable, fresh, fruity, a hint of powderiness on my skin. And... It's beautiful pack. I like the packaging of this and the other ones in the line. I did not. No, I got sweet whiskey. I got to get that at the sale. I hope it's 75% off. This is from the fall. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to just pull the rest out because I'm trying to make sure you don't see them. We're at our last four. So you had to know this was coming. Can you say it with me? Bonfire Bash, Bonfire Bash. This has notes of vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. This is smoky, marshmallowy. I'm going out at night smelling the bomb. This is so good. Mm, I haven't smelled anything until Sweet Whiskey, the one in that bright coral packaging that smelled like this before. And as a teaser, Victoria's Secret has something out now that smells like this to me too. So if you want to know what that is, be sure you check out my Victoria's Secret SAS recommendations video. Did you like that plug? Okay, so this is beat up looking. What did I do to this? Golden Sunflower. I believe this was spring or summer of this year. The notes are sunflower petals, orange flower, fresh vanilla. This, I can't smell it. But I remember it being like a very creamy white floral fragrance. Yes, it's just creamy, dreamy, white floral fragrance. Very soft. Very nice. Very nice. So I would recommend checking this one out. And I think this has about five stars on the website. It is a good one. If it's, I don't think it's part of their signature collection. I don't think they made it part of it. That's why some of the, like Dahlia, I didn't put in here because I think that is part of their signature line. But this one, I don't think it is. So I'm hoping if they had stock left over, it will be at the sale. Okay, and we have here Strawberry Pound Cake. I told you the body scrub made me want to get the rest of the line. And the notes in this are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. So this is the lotion and the body mist. I wanted the cream so bad, but it was sold out. So I hope maybe it'll, it'll pop up because I love the packaging of the body cream for this. And this is exactly what, it's, what it says. It smells exactly like strawberries, shortcake, and whipped cream. It's sweet and dreamy. It has to dry down on me because when I first spray it, I get strawberry yogurt. That's what I get on my skin. But as, after it sits for about 15, 20 minutes, I get sweet strawberry 
soft because it's I don't it's very like loud when I first spray it then it softens up and I really like it so if you see and I like this packaging I think they're gonna have strawberry pound cake come out a lot because it's been out I want to say two, two or three times so if they come out in the spring well the the first time it came out it was a little different sometimes they, they change just a little bit than this one to me but if you like this packaging i would suggest picking it up and if i see that old packaging i'm gonna just get one and see if i can that one to me wasn't as sweet and sugary as this one though okay the last this leaked the last fragrance mist i'm going to show you is velvet sugar this is their retired fragrance, but they usually bring it out at the SAS each one, winter and summer. You it'll pop up. This is just so pretty and flirty. If you like berry, sweet, girly, flirty fragrances, and you love this packaging, which is cute, the packaging reflects how it smells. I would pick this up if you see it during the sale. Okay, y'all, those were all of my recommendations that I hope that they have on sale. Why you always lying? And my pick, you know what? I got oh one more, y'all. And you're going to be shocked. This is Christmas cookies. I did not like this when I first smelled this. The notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. I still don't love this when I smell it from the bottle. I still don't love this when I spray it on me. After it sits for like 20, 30 minutes, I like it. This is not one I would wear. It's very cookie doughy. <laughs> That's what I get when I smell it from here and when I spray it until it dries all the way down. When it dries down, I get a soft, warm, sweet cookie fragrance that I do like. But I won't say I love it, but I would recommend it because it's such a fan favorite and I do like it after I wore it. This is not one I feel like I need to get stock up on though because yeah. It, I was watching a video from Tina Marie and she was like, this one is slightly different from the, the first batch that came out last year. And I wish I could smell that one. So if you see some old packaging of Christmas cookies, grab it. Okay, so those were all of my recommendations. Now let's get on to the tips I have written down here because I did not want to forget. Number one, my first tip is make a list of certain things that you pretty much know will be part of the sale and that's some of the ones i showed you especially the vanilla bean noel that line you know it's going to be there so make a list of what you're looking for so you'll remember because you can go in there especially now you got your mask on you if you're like me you don't want to just be in there too long because you don't want to be around these people so you kind of just looking grabbing looking grabbing and going that's kind of how i shop now <laughs> So have in your mind, if you don't want to write it down on your phone or something or have a list, at least think about it so you'll know this is what I'm looking for plus the extra goodies. Number two, budget how much you want to spend because it's 75% off. You can just be going, do, 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 just grabbing and putting everything in the bag. And then you get up there and you're like, oh, $300. You know, <laughs> you don't want that to happen. So keep you know I've, I've done you know just been grabbing keep uh and know what you want to spend on the sale how much you want to spend and keep in mind as you're putting stuff in that bag be thinking how much is this so you won't go over your amount that you budgeted for this sale number three know the items you want to stock up on like for me if i see these and bubble bath for 75% off, I'm going to be going doop, 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 throwing them in the bag because that is what I want to stock up on. So know what you're looking for. If you see it, you don't want to say, oh, do I want how many? Know what you want to stock up on and just get it and go. 
Number four, get up early on the morning of the sale, which is Saturday, December 26th. Check that website because sometimes, I know it's different times, but sometimes stuff is on there early. See what they have listed online for their for the semi for the SAS sale and then they'll give you an idea of what is in store. I've been doing that and I love it because I'd be like, okay, I know I'm looking for this and if I don't see it in any of the stores I plan to go to, I know I can order it online if it's not sold out. But I prefer to shop in store for the uh semi annual sale. Number five no and also with that have your coupon and bad virus tripping because I don't have my coupon yet. I'm seeing all these people post these. Oh, I got my coupon for this semi sale with the duck. You know, I don't have mine yet. Where is my coupon? I want and need my coupon, okay? Number five, go on the first day of the sale. Right when it opens, look and see what time your stores are opening because for the sale they usually open up early go there and pick the best store you we all know what stores in your area usually have the best product pick the best one like pick if you plan to go to three stores have them in order have a plan this is the one that usually has everything i want the most this is the second one that usually has make a plan get up go there early so you can get hopefully get what you want because stuff goes fast number six get the 75 percent off items first because they're going to be gone in a blink of an eye especially the stuff that was from let's say if they have for example not that i know this ch sugar cherry crisp on sale for 75 percent. that's going to be gone blink gone so if you see it grab it and go Another tip I have is if you want something that's from the sig their signature collection, you missed the $5.95 body care sale like I did, then look for gift sets because that is what I've purchased quite a few of my signature collection items during the sale when they had the gift sets for like 50% off. And then hopefully, I've never gotten the 75% off gift set, I wish. But 50% off is still a good deal because you're getting three to six items depending on what kind of gift set you're getting. So that's another thing. If you've been wanting into the night and you missed all the, the sales, if they have a gift set at 50% off or if you if you find 75% off, this is a good time. Check out those gift sets, y'all, if they have some left over. And if they have a fragrance that you've been wanting, grab that gift set. That is a good deal. Okay, number seven, 50% off items. A lot of people who do these recommendations and tips videos, they say, don't get anything from for 50% off. Wait till everything goes 75% off. I'm opposite because, see, I've done that, and then I didn't get what I wanted. So this is my advice. If it's 50% off and it's something you really, really want. Let me say, um, for example, if they have Sunset Glow at 50% off, I'm going to get it because it's not going to be there <laughs> when, when you go back. You, you know, it, it just might not. So my advice, if it's something you really want and you're going to be upset or really disappointed that if you don't get it, don't wait for it to go 75% off. Get it at 50% off, keep an eye on those sales, keep your receipt and go back in and get a price adjustment. That is my advice to you because I have missed out on a lot waiting for that price to drop and I'm not doing it anymore if it's something I really, really like. I'm just not. So that's my advice to you. Save your receipt and get a price adjustment because you're still going to get your money back. Okay, the eighth tip I have is don't second guess and leave items. I have done this at SAS. If you, you know, you're like, this is me. And this is when you can actually smell things because you didn't have the mask. And I'm like, 
I don't know. I don't know. And then if you're like me, you go home and you say, oh, let me see the SAS hauls. Let's see what other stores have. Maybe I need to be on the lookout and go back. And then you see somebody ranting and raving about something you left that was in a 75% off bin and you go back and it's all gone. Don't second guess. Just grab, grab, and go. Because you can always get home, test it out, and take it back and get your money. Just get it. If, you, if you're on the fence about something, that's what I have, I've learned from these sales. Especially something that's 75% off. I'm like, Shawnee said, really? You left it there, now it's gone. Just get it. And if it doesn't work for you, take it back and get your money. Because I have uh, no problems taking stuff back and getting my money. Some people don't like doing it. I, I takes it back. And get my money if I don't like something. Or if somebody I know likes it, I'll give it away. But no, I'll, I'll get my money back. So my ninth tip, look for 75% off candles and stock up. Well, if you didn't go ham during the candle day sale. I have found that I don't think... We, I've found 75% off candles, I think, twice. And they're not usually easily found, you know? It's like they have them and you have to just come up on them. So look for them. And then if you see some you like, get them. Because we got a ton of candles. I think two semi-annual sales ago of 75% off candles. And I was so excited. Okay, my tip and final tip. Keep checking the Bath and Body Works site online for added items and special collections that they might come out with just for the sale. Because Bath and Body Works, they do that. They'll come out with certain fragrance mists and a whole collection just for their semi-annual sale, which is awesome. But you have to keep checking their website or checking Instagram, you know, the, your favorite people to watch on YouTube that'll bring you the updates. Keep up with that so you won't miss out. And um, I would say go at the beginning of the sale, first day if you can. Go during, and this sale lasts almost a month. Go at the beginning, hit it hard to try to get what you want, and go in the middle, and then go at the very end because you know everything's about 75 percent off at the end i'll usually sometimes go on the last day of the sale or the day before the last day just to see what was left and see if there's anything somebody brought back that they didn't want or they exchanged just to you know get my last little taste for it to last me until the next sale six months later and also with bath and body works why they keep checking the website and you know the people you follow they will do flash sales within their their semi-annual sale their sale is so much better than victoria's secret and i love victoria's secret but they they do more like they might have soaps flash sale two dollars they might do waffle you, you just never know so you just need to Keep checking that website every day of the sale so you'll know what's going on and you don't miss out. Okay, y'all. Finally, the last thing I'm going to tell you what's on my list that I know from watching a couple videos and that I know should be in store somewhere. Some store somewhere. Sweet Whiskey is one that I don't think that they sold a lot of it didn't sell out so i think it's going to be there and i'm hoping it's 75 percent off and i'm going to pick that up whipped almond vanilla i hate i missed out on that if i see it at one of my stores i'm definitely going to grab it that was from the fall collection the uh, like i told you for the sunset glow and the sugar cherry crisp i want to get backups of those because i love them and i don't see me getting tired of them and um <clears throat> if they have any of the these bath bombs i'm going to stock up and bubble bath i'm going to stock up please 75 percent off and also i heard from watching a video that they had the mist of the blooming garden 
I think I told you about that. So that's on my list to get. And I want to get Kaleidoscope. I remember when Kaleidoscope, that was one of the items I was iffy. I wasn't sure. I don't know. Do I like it? Do I like it? And it was 75% off and I didn't get it. And it sold out everywhere when I decided to give it a chance. I want to just try that one because it's one that they say you have to, which anything you have to put on your skin but that this was made to pair with each person's body chemistry you know it's not just a perfume it's made to work with your body chemistry and kind of give you your own signature fragrance so i really want to get that and i'm not gonna even smell it i'm just gonna get it and go i'm because i'm not doing it i missed out when it was two doggone 75 cents when they first did it so I'm hoping this doesn't come out and it's 50% off instead of 75. Okay, y'all. Woo. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and click that like button. Leave me a comment below. Tell me, what do you think of my recommendations? Do you think they're going to be on sale? Like I'm hoping they're going to be on sale. What are you looking forward to picking up from this sale? You know, this is the biggest sale of the year for Bath and Body Works, this is it. People live and breathe <laughs> for this sale. So leave me a comment below telling me what you, what you hope to pick up from this sale. And please share this video with anyone, but especially those who love Bath and Body Works and who love the semi-annual sale. Please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.